Right, good afternoon. Right, I have literally done my just put all my stuff. Um, I did a cookathon, um, cottage pies, two of those, spaghetti bolognese, four of those. Yeah, my my menus are not you know exactly exactly um, exciting. So um, the stew, I managed to get two um, stews plus the one I ate, so it was three of those. Um, yeah, my freezer is now positively groaning. Um, the chicken thigh fillets I've frozen two lots raw so that I can have the heaters when I want them uh, this round oh this poor drawer absolutely rammed so I've got my pies in there I found the fish it's buried down there and it's the same brand the um oh, I can't remember what it's called uh party food company and they're down there <laughs> so I did find them but yeah I got um I got chilies uh chili 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 and then I've got sausage casseroles um, spag, yeah, spag bowl, exactly the same recipes as last time. So down there I've got the uh, fish pie mix and the scampies underneath there. So that's sort of kind of organised, but I just can't get anything else in my freezer. I'm absolutely chocker now, so um, I'm a bit panicky because I cooked a chicken curry last night. Um, Tesco's had the tikka masala sauce on special offer, so I didn't do them like I did last time in the yogurt I just chucked in the sauce the cube potatoes like last time and then um I think I put in six of the chicken thigh fillets so I've got about three curries in there um so that's slow cooked last night I woke up this morning absolutely starving because that's all I could smell all night anyway it was on very very low um so that's ready to go but I just haven't got anywhere to put it in my freezer <laughs> so I'm gonna have to wangle it all around again I had to take these out um so I have these for lunch actually I've got some brown rolls and um some chicken breasts that I bought a while ago so yeah I've ended up with quite a lot let me just grab a sorry <laughs> Right, so I've ended up with quite a lot. I only ended up with three stews, so I've only got, I think I've only got two in the freezer now. Uh, chicken casserole, I couldn't find my casserole mix, and I know I've got one, but I don't know where it is. But, so I'm going to cross that off, I'm sorry, cross that off the list, and I'm going to put three chicken curries, because that's what I've ended up with instead. Ooh, right, uh, corned beef hash, I will show you that when I cook that, it's a tin of corned beef, uh, that makes two meals, and I'm quite happy to have that two nights in a row. So I'll show you that. Uh, spag bowl, bog standard. Uh, cottage pie, I only ended up with three of those. I shouldn't put shepherd's because it's not made with lamb. It's made with beef, so it's a cottage pie. Uh, the carbonara, I'm probably only going to end up with two of those, actually, because I've only frozen four. Yeah, I'm going to change that to two. So I might not have 44 meals, but then I've got the... I've got some other stuff anyway. Uh, the gammon, I haven't cooked that yet because i just got no freezer space. Uh, sausage casserole's done. Uh, fish pie, I've not made that yet. Again, I've got nowhere to freeze it. The scampi's in the bag anyway. Uh, chicken pies, I just take them out and eat them as and when. They've, I've actually got five breaded because uh, there's four in that packet and then I've just found another one. <laughs> so I've actually got five fish meals with, that I so I can have fish and chips five times, which is always good. So I reckon because it was £44 in Aldi, which was all food, basically. Yeah, it was. Um, this one in Tesco's, it came down to £40. Um, but then I had the really expensive cat meat, uh, cat biscuits and stuff like that on there. So I'm averaging that out at about 20 So I think for like, let's say £69, um, I'm going to get all those meals. And like I've said to you before, being on my own it's too tempting to just go and get a takeaway and that's why I started doing this because I was wasting so much money it was ridiculous and I wasn't eating healthily so by doing this and I think it's only I think it's about six weeks um, if not longer since I've done it um, yeah this keeps me on the straight and narrow and stops me buying rubbish basically <laughs> so it's all cooked it's ready all I've got to do is take it out defrost it warm it through in the evening and if it's pasta or you know if I need to do pasta with it or potatoes and veg that's what I do so um yeah let me know in the comments if you want to see my plated up evening meals it might give you some oomph to do it yourself I don't know there's a couple there that I'll definitely show you me cooking the corned beef hash 
and the carbonara well that's pretty basic but you know and i might do um risotto as well but then i can use gammon for that so yeah but yeah let me know if you want to see evening meals um it might help you get the urge to do this yourself it's only going to be about a two minute video max <laughs> so that'll be that really so uh yeah um i'm going to carry on rearranging my freezer because i need to get that curry in there because that is well and truly cooked through it looks delicious and i can't wait to eat that um yeah so i will see you on the next one i know some people are really enjoying this which is great so um yeah <sighs> keep me posted let me know what you want to see all right i'll see you on the next one bye